Granada, Spain, earthquake swarm continues. 49 quakes in one day, 585 quakes since December. And as we know, Europe has a lot of old houses. This is where it is, that uh, area south of Spain around uh, Mallorca is just north uh, east of Gibraltar. And again, as we said, a lot of old houses that are not earthquake resistant uh, in villages, of course, have a problem uh, uh, to withstand such earthquakes. Now, this is by Javier Arroyo El País on Bended Reality. The tremors cause widespread alarm among local communities with some families opting to sleep in their cars in open spaces due to fears of staying in their homes because, of course, uh, they, they're they not uh, uh, reinforced concrete. Granada province in southern Spain was hit on Thursday by 49 earthquakes, according to the National Geographic Institute, IGN. The largest of these was magnitude 4.3 on the Richter scale. It struck at 4, uh, 7.49 p.m., depth of 3 kilometers. It was very shallow. The city of Granada and its metropolitan area had already been shaken by 42 tremors of varying magnitudes before the latest ones were felt. Local police in the municipality of Santa Fe, the epicenter of the 4.3 magnitude quake, said that one building suffered minor damage but did not pose any risk. Officers did, however, warn citizens to take care when passing by certain areas of the city center, which are home to a large number of old buildings. Please support my Patreon channel since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. My Patreon channel will have five different videos from my YouTube channel every day. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. The earthquakes on Thursday are the latest in the series to hit the southern province located in the Andalusia region. 12 tremors, two with registered magnitudes 4.4 4.1, the Richter scale, struck Granada province Tuesday, and between Sunday, Saturday and Thursday, more than 500 earthquakes were recorded near the municipalities of Atarfe and Santa Fe, according to IGN. And of this number, 13 had the magnitude of 3 on the Richter scale and over, and 4 measured over 4. The surge in seismic activity has sparked alarm in the local community. As we saw in the map, it's, from, it's on a uh, fault line, and it's a subduction zone. The African plate is slamming into the European plate, uh, closing in the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, we've also had earthquakes uh, nearby in Greece, and even today. Now, after even the, they were bigger, they were about uh, 5.2, 5.4, 4.4. Now, after the earthquakes here in Spain, on Tuesday, many residents fled to the streets despite the coronavirus curfew. The tremors have also caused minor, minor damage in the Alhabra, the world-famous palace complex in Granada, and forced some schools to close as well. But the biggest impact has been the pervading sense of fear, which has prompted some residents to leave the city for the coast. Christian Manus, Professor at the University of Granada, who is a specialist in urban mobility, has been analyzing vehicle traffic in the days after strong earthquakes. He detected that the number of cars leaving in the direction of the coast multiplied ninefold on Tuesday following the series of earthquakes. Data from 8 p.m. on Thursday, just after the 4.3 magnitude tremor struck, also showed a spike in traffic in the direction. Now you can imagine, because of the fact that there's a, a, an earthquake swarm, they're probably thinking it could be precursors to a bigger quake. Now, other residents have been sleeping in their cars in open spaces. Since Tuesday, Juan Fernando Martinez, 52-year-old waiter, and his wife, Maria Jose, and their 14-year-old daughter, have all been staying overnight in an empty field next to a soccer pitch in Santa Fe. They explained that they are doing this because their daughter is asthmatic and they are scared. The situation will worsen. They arrived just after 7 p.m. on Thursday. Maria Jose said she has gone three days without sleep and has been only been drinking tea. Juan Fernando said he's desperate. He says, if an earthquake does not kill me, a heart attack will. If he was alone, he said, I would take the car and head for Malaga or wherever. But with family, that's impossible, he said. 
By 9 p.m. on Thursday, around 20 cars already arrived in the open field. More were arriving. It seems that people were waiting for another earthquake after experiencing 49 of them in one day, and the fear had driven them from their homes, obviously. Local resident Melkor arrived at the field with his wife and two elderly parents. He didn't want to spend the night in his home, and he was angry with local authorities for not letting him stay in the street. He says, we're not here because we want to be. We're here because we're afraid. He complained that no one has put up a tent where people can have coffee and eat something. Jose Tirado, another resident in the field, said he would have preferred to stay at home, but admits he has problems with anxiety. Manuel Gil, the mayor of Santa Fe, visited the space after 9.30 p.m. on Thursday. He was asked for he, he had asked he was asked to give people tents, support from Civil Protection Service, and permission to light a fire because the night, as we know, is very long and dark and cold. Now, since December 1st, there have been an estimated 585 earthquakes in the area, of which 15 have measured three or over. The total of 61 have been felt by the population. Experts have blamed the recent seismic activity on the constant approximation by four or five millimeters of ye a year of the Eurasian plate and the African plate. The, earthqu the earliest earthquake recorded in Granada took place in the south of the province in 1431 and caused major damage to the Alhabra. The strongest one recorded struck in 1884 in Aresas del Rey and left 839 people dead. This is by Javier Arroyo El País and English version by Melissa Kitson on Bended Reality.